Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Willie V, aka Boot Boy Kennels. Have a pretty cool tip here. Well, I don't know if it's so much a, a tip, but it's something I, I, I um, actually I just picked up while um, reading a post from myapplespace.com. This post um, was created by Brian Flo. I, I believe I pron I'm pronouncing your last name correct. If, if I'm not, then uh, just let me know. But anyways, he had made a post called uh, QuickTime VR. Now, I've, I've used QuickTime quite a bit after learning some uh, great tips that uh, Emik had showed. And basically from there, just went on to doing uh, a bunch of different things and, and learning how to use it. But um, Aut Automator is really not anything I ever looked into never even tried it I, I've heard a few things about it but just never really got into it so I, I figured out I check out the um, the page uh, from Apple's website that he was uh, referring to on this uh, particular post for the uh, uh, Apple users and in some um, research found that you know all automator it's, it's actually very very good now let me uh, just switch over around just a little bit now basically I have uh, these two files right here one's an mp4 file the other one's an mov file now they're both the same exact um, video but this can be with multiple videos so I, I, can't, I found it real interesting because I can do it as a batch and use the automator for that that particular purpose so I have the uh, automator already opened up and on the left side you have your library and um, you know, being as though I like to use QuickTime so much and I tend to convert a lot of my videos mostly to mp4 format but I also use the uh, m4v format for uh, iPod users so I said okay let me check it out so I clicked on movies I found uh, export movies so I go ahead and uh, click on that drag it over into my work area and as you can see it's already selected format iPod or you can select Apple TV but I'm gonna leave it on iPod because that's really what I want and then you can uh, select your location I'll leave it at movies that's perfectly fine for me and if you want you can delete the original movie once it's done it's encoding process I don't want to delete it because I like to keep my large uh, version of this now you can go ahead and uh, run this command here and it'll give you a workflow and I have one warning because I didn't actually put any data which is fine but just to let you know if you're going to do it through here put your movie in so that your movie's above this area and then when you run it you don't get this uh, error message so now that I, I have it you know I have that particular workflow I'll just uh, go over to file now I want to save it as a plugin because I want it to be in my context the uh, contextual menus so I'll click save plugin as and I already have one called export to iPod and I'm going to save it in the uh, folder finder for the plugins and then I hit save and it'll save it alright now let me go ahead and I'll select these two windows. Now here's my folder for my movies. And over here is where I want to do a batch process. So I'll go ahead and select these two. It can be it can be one movie or it can be individually. Now I already have QuickTime open because I was already working with QuickTime. But if not, it'll automatically launch it for you. As long as you save it as a plugin and then you know, select the folder. 
it'll go into your contextual menus so that when you when you right click go to more automator and then you'll have your workflow so my workflow is export to iPod and as you can see it's already starting to encode it now it doesn't encode it as a um, combined movie because that's not what I wanted to do I'm sure there is a way you could do that using automator but um this is more for just encoding it to the iPod format now I'm gonna let this run for a bit and I'll come right back alright now this particular first one was already done and automatically it commenced to start encoding the next video so this one will encode as well and I'll be right back once this one is done encoding now that this one here just finished encoding as you can see in my movies folder I have both the files that I was working on so we can go ahead and uh, get the information for that and as you can see it's a uh, 640 by 400 so it already set the uh, size up now these were the two that I had originally batched but say you no longer want to keep the uh, particular workflow that you're working with well you can navigate to where you saved it so if you, if you save it in a, in a default location which would have been finder just go to uh, your user account library workflow applications finder and you'll find your particular workflow that you had, that you had created that was put into your contextual menus so again that that was a, uh, a very uh, useful tip at least I find it very useful as I said I like to convert a lot of movies to iPod or or uh, you know other formats and this is this is definitely a uh, a lifesaver because I can just you know have them all in one folder select them all right click automator workflow and off it goes again this uh, was um, brought to you by uh, Brian flow of myapplespace.com so definitely you know check out the uh, article that he has on here and uh, and the website link to uh, Apple's uh, technologies uh, it's called uh, QT VR so definitely check it out anyways uh, this was uh, Willie V aka Boo Boy Kennels of iTexture.com and as always thank you for taking the time to watch